I'm uh, Captain Jonas Anazagasti. I'm the commander for Bravo Company 369 Armor. And today we are out here conducting what we call a stress shoot. And that stress shoot is incorporating close quarters marksmanship, specifically reflexive fire training. And that is uh, engaging targets, uh, acquiring the target quickly, and uh, engaging it with uh, controlled rounds uh, rapidly. Um, today, the stress shoot is, is what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring everything together. Close quarters marksmanship, using reflexive fire techniques, um, physical training, okay? We're uh, simulating combat environment with uh, starting out with a run, uh, coming back, and then simulating these guys carrying uh, a casualty. Uh, a lot of situations that they're going to have. What we try to do is we try, we try to tell the guys that we don't want marathon runners and we don't want sprinters. We want linebackers, guys that are going to be able to carry their buddy across a highway, across an alleyway, drop him off to safety, go down, maneuver, and engage the enemy from multiple positions um, and using multiple firing, alternate firing techniques. And uh, that's what we're doing here today. Well, this is extremely important for several reasons. One, anytime soldiers uh, get to shoot, the, fire their weapons, um, it's increasing their competency, and it's also increasing their confidence uh, in themselves and their weapons. The soldiers out here, they get to see that their buddy next to them knows what he's doing, and it makes him feel a little bit more confident when he goes, when he goes and deploys. And that's the first reason. The second reason is obviously we're just honing our skills. Okay, this is definitely some of the situations that we may encounter when we deploy, whether it be Iraq or Afghanistan. And so uh, we're really trying to get the soldiers out here, to, again, to simulate those combat scenarios and, uh, and do the fundamentals.